Well, here I am again in my Kawasaki studio introducing another Divisor guitar. This is the Bacchus Grace AT slash BW. What does all that mean? Well, it is one rank up from the Craft series. It's in a series called the Custom series. It's actually right now the only model in that Custom series. As you can see, it has a highly carved ash top, which has been treated with a burning finish just on the top, not around the reveal around the edges. The back of the guitar is alder, also finished in green oil. The neck of the guitar is maple, and it has a blackwood fingerboard. The nut is acrylic. The radius of the fingerboard is 310, which is a relatively flat but comfortable radius. The guitar is equipped with Goto locking tuners. The heights of the posts are adjustable. The tuners come installed with graduated post heights. This maintains a balance of string tension from the nut to the tuning posts. The guitar is equipped with PW Hornet pickups. Those are Paul Wagoner's signature pickups from Mojo Tone in North Carolina. The scale length is 648 millimeters, which is 25 and a half inches. Controls on the guitar comprise one volume, one tone, and a five-way switch. The five-way switch gives you access to both humbucking and split coil tones. Fit and finish on this guitar are, as expected, superb. I've customized only one thing. I always use strap locks. On most guitars with tremolos, I leave the back plate off the tremolo cavity. In this case, I almost did so, but out of respect to the people who put it together, I put the cavity cover back on. How about some tones? I'm going to give you a few tonal demonstrations using an AC30 simulation. I'm not a virtuoso, so I won't be giving you a playing demonstration. This is all about the guitar sound. If I don't cut off those notes, this thing will just sustain forever. I'm not using any compression or a sustainer pedal right now. Of course, this looks like a pretty progressive guitar, and it has features that are pretty progressive, so we should run it through something a little bit more driven, too. The neck pickup really sings, too. Yes, Yasuo Momo says, on my coffee mug. So, how do I feel about this guitar? Well, to be honest, I love it. How could I not? Let's talk about why. Well, all the features I've run through are basically all the features that I love to have in a guitar. I have an awful lot of guitars. I have trems on some and uh, fixed bridges on others. I had a couple of great Floyds on my Imperial Pro and my Imperial Pro 2. I have vintage trims that I don't use on my Strat-type guitars. In this case, this was my very first Wilkinson. 
I've met Trevor Wilkinson, he's a great guy, and he designed a pretty good bridge. It floats beautifully. I set it up um, for very, very smooth action. I was tempted to block it, but didn't. I ended up uh, using it as it's designed to be used, which is often a good thing. Other things I love about this particular guitar are the slight flaming that goes on in the back of the neck, which is totally random. I'm sure it wasn't selected for that. There's a little bit of bird's eye on the uh, face of the headstock. That's really cool. Then when we get to wood features that really matter on this, I absolutely love the figuring on this ash top. I chose it from out of three. I had the privilege of uh, choosing it in uh, interaction with uh, a store, um, and then the store was interacting with the uh, representative right at Divisor, so I was able to get uh, um, shots right out of the warehouse. It's one of three. I chose this because the grain is very symmetrical, very straight. I absolutely love it. Um, it's not overboard in any places, but it matches left to right beautifully. Something that's important to me is the fact that, unlike many guitars in this price class, the uh, figure top is not a veneer. That is a full cap. It looks like it's 10 millimeters thick, about at the thickest part of the arch, and then it's quite a bit thinner at other parts, with, of course, the taped reveal during the staining process. The taped reveal is really, really clean. I've seen some guitars from some pretty big manufacturers, like one in Maryland that starts with P, where their taping is not this good. I also absolutely love the feel of this fingerboard. Blackwood is an excellent material. It is a synthetic wood fiber. It's uh, not something that you cut directly out of a tree. It is a fiber composite, but that gives it stability. And it also gets around things like CITES restrictions on Dalbergia latifolia or rosewood. I'm certainly a fan of the pickups. This is my third set of Mojotone pickups. I have Mojotone Classics in my 77 Stork, and I have the seven string version of the Paul Wagoner Hornet in my T7 Custom. I really like the tone of these pickups in this particular guitar. They are not shrill, which was a surprise because I was expecting high output pickups to be shrill. In fact, maybe I might occasionally desire a little bit more treble, but if I do, I've got other guitars that provide it. Nothing provides a singing voice quite like this with that high output. I'm surprised by how beautiful it sounds clean, and I'm certain I'm going to use it in a lot of compositions that are based around pretty clean easy to play things. Another thing that got me about this guitar, frankly, is the color. That green. I have wanted a green like that for a long time. It's not my only green guitar. I own two other green guitars. I have a green guitar from a company in Maryland that starts with P, which was built by World Music. And I have a green guitar from a company that was originally Mundelein, Illinois, uh, made probably by Cortec in Indonesia. Uh, that company also starts with a P. Um, they keep saying they're going to make more guitars and they just don't show up. And the pickups I put in it are really good. The pickups I took out of it were worthy of being taken out. So it's not my only green guitar, but I think it's my prettiest green guitar. It's also going to be my most used and useful green guitar. I have no doubt about that. If green isn't your thing, this is available in several other colors. Just check out the divisor.co.jp website and look up the custom series. There are not a whole lot of these guitars around anywhere in the world, but if you can find a place near you that has them, you should check it out. So that was me in my Kawasaki studio with my latest amazing Bacchus guitar. Remember, I get no kickbacks. I just love these things. Catch you next time.